there you guys i'm teddy from bijuteo beading and in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these elegant earrings with seed beads and daisy flowers if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more tutorials like this thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough for these actions guys share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials on my facebook page if you want i will be so happy to see them and you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member info for the membership perks you could find in description and at the join button thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads you could use 10 o seed beads if you want here i'm using two 10 millimeter beads you could use pearls or teardrops or other beads you like these are earring findings this is nylon island thread the thickness is 0.3 millimeters or size d this is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors and now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 6 white beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pulling and then I will make one more knot now guys I have this beautiful circle of beads here and what I'm going to do next is go through some beads in this direction I'm taking just one silver bead and I go in the opposite white bead okay how I find the opposite I count one two and I go through the third one and I'm going in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay now here what I have is something like a flower what i take next on my needle are three blue dark blue beads three white and three more white so three dark blue and six white i'm going to slide those down okay like this now what i do is that i go back through all of those beads in this direction and then i pull then what i want to do is to make this one go here that is why i'm pulling it and pushing it to this side okay now i will take just one silver bead and i'm going here in the opposite white okay now i here have another another flower like the other one so what i want to do next is go through one more bead in this direction by the way at this step you might want to reinforce And after you reinforce, you go here through the next white bead. And I'm going to take the same sequence, three 
dark blue beads and six white beads and I'm going to slide those down and now what I want to do is go back through the first of these white beads and make again a circle of beads then push it as close as possible to your work okay now this is what I have then I take one silver bead and I go in the opposite white bead push it as close as possible to this part and reinforce Okay, now I'm going through two more beads in this direction. Now I'm two white beads away from these blue beads and here I was one bead away from the blue beads and uh, this is how I want to be. Now I'm taking three dark blue beads and six white beads as I did before I'm going to slide those then again I'm going back in circle through these six beads here okay this is what I do now And I take just one silver and go here. Okay, now I have four flowers here. I should arrange them so the beads that are sticking out to be for sticking from one direction. Okay or I could push them in the direction that I like okay now what I want to have is this okay and here I have one white bead space between these black beads here I have two and here I also want to have one that is why you see where I'm going one white bead away after these beads here and here I'm going to take three dark blue beads and go here through these two white beads Okay, and what I want to do here is to reinforce this element.
Okay, and I want to take here the same sequence as before. Sliding it down. And here I'm going to make a flower again. Now what I take is the same thing slide it down and make another flower here Take a silver one and go like this. Okay. Now I have this shape and here I'm two white beads away from these blue beads. And now guys I'm taking three blue beads and I'm going here like this. Okay, now I have my next element of my work ready. Now what I want to do is go here in this direction. And I'm exiting through this uh, white bead that I have here. I'm exiting through one white and here is also one white and here is also one white and to the side it's two whites between the, black, the blue beads I mean. Now I need again 9 beads, 3 blue and 6 white. I'm going to slide those down. And I'm pulling it close to my work. And again, I'm going through the opposite bead here. Okay, now you see, this is what I have. I go through two beads here. Like this. Okay, the same sequence. Slide those down. And do the same thing. Push it as close as possible to your work. One silver. 
go in the opposite white. And now reinforce and pull. Okay. Now this is what I have. You see, this is what I have. And here I want to go through two white beads in this direction. Okay. There are two white bead space between the dark blue beads here. And I take three dark blue beads and I go here in these two beads and I pull and at this step guys I might wanna reinforce Okay guys, and after I reinforce this, I don't think I will be able to go back through here. That is why I will go through this silver bead in the center. And then backwards through this white here. And here I am at almost the last part of my work. Okay, and I have this. Slide those down. Then go back through all of those. one silver go in the opposite white now here guys what I want to do is go through two more beads here you see where I'm exiting and here I'm adding three beads and I'm going here through these two whites. Okay. Then what I do is a, a reinforcement here. Okay, and here I am through, through this, exiting out of this white bead, which is the opposite of this one. Okay, and I'm going to take five blue beads, my ball here that I have. My 10 millimeter bead. It's really 
lightweight and beautiful. And then I take three blue beads and slide those down. And then I go here through four beads like this. Okay, I went here through four of the beads and the fifth one is next to my flower. And now I take just one blue bead. And I'm going backwards through the same blue, uh, through the same white so. You see where I went? Through the same white bead here. Okay, through this one here. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is go through all of the beads in this direction and reach this part here where I'll show you how to attach your earring finding. Okay? And I will do this off camera going through all of those beads and meet you here at this one okay guys and here i am at my my last step where i want to take four silver beads and then my earring finding and where is my thread here i am two beads away from this blue edge next to the central bead here that is sticking out and what i want to do is go like this Now I might want to go through the flower and reinforce uh, this loop here at the end and after that I will go here and show you how I'm making a knot. Okay and I reinforced this part but I was using my pliers that is why I didn't want to make you watch me because it took a while and now here what I want to do is to make a loop And I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction. Now you could do additional reinforcement of your work if you don't like it. Then make again a knot, go through some beads and cut your thread. Okay guys, and now my elegant seed beads earrings with daisy flowers are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe, also hit the bell button. In this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also check description for a full list of materials, link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And more info for the membership perks in description or at the join button. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.